One more. Yes. Um, a man that I've been seeing and loving spends time with another woman and doesn't openly share it. And I feel um, hurt and uh, that truth is not on the table, that there's a discomfort and a withhold, and that makes me pull in and not trust my partner. So can you remember when you found this out? That would be a button pushing event. You mean for originally me. in my life? No, well, no. When you on. found you, you said he's spending time with another part, another person, but not sharing it. Somewhere you got this information. How'd you get this information? Oh, I asked. Okay, it so you asked him, and he said, "Let's go to that level." Yes, and specific. was defensive, and gave you explanation. You called it defensive. What did he do? Uh, the body language shut down. Mm -hmm. uh, was instantly attacking me. Well, you spend time with. There Zoe. you go. And so it wasn't like, well, yeah, and sorry, honey, I didn't think to, yes. you know, I can see. There wasn't a leaning in. Thank you. There wasn't a mutual yeah. uh, valuing of trusting feelings. And that bothers me more than the, any events. It's how it's held and how it's dealt with. OK, I want to comment on that. Oh, and, and that's I, also I because there was secrecy in my past. Yeah, uh, so you, you can tell yeah. us about the button. Yeah, yeah, the secrecy. Yeah, yeah this really uh, withhold. A yeah, big button. all that lies in secrecy, yeah. and so that is something that really yeah. lives in my body. And when I see it, it's mm -hmm. such a tilt. It's such an alert mm -hmm. that I value truth, no matter what it is. Yeah. If the truth is on the table, I can be okay with that as a place to discuss and yes. feel and all that. Yeah, you'd rather have him just admit what yeah. was going on and tell you how he feels about your feelings, like being able to actually feel like scared of losing you, uh, not liking hurting you, feel like a schmuck for lying. That, that would be OK with absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely gold stars for that. Yeah. Thank you. OK. Um, I think you've noticed me cutting in on people. I want to make another teaching point here, just to emphasize it so when you come up here to, to, to work with me. Um, as you've listened to, well, listen to the last person who shared, you notice it's very natural, I think, to get into general statements like things are being withheld from me, secrecy. These are, these are, these are what I would call generalizations. It's not that they are inaccurate in any way, but the more, and, and this is what the mind does. I want, I want us to get more sophisticated about how the mind works. The mind, when it's in pain, goes into a vigilance about anything that looks similar to that past pain, and often even forget, you often even forget what the event was. You know, you, you, if, if any of you, you do couples counseling, you'll know that couples will come in fighting about something, and they don't remember the event. They just remember their interpretation of the event. And I want to caution you, if you're really going to take this on as a practice, you really need to work with these truth skills that are, that are in the book, Getting Real. I, you know, I, I have to promote my book because it's the only place I know where these are laid out in a very usable form. And it, it, they're also in truth and dating and saying what's real. But getting real is, the, is the, the, sort of the first book on this subject. And then the, the other ones are elaborations. And the other ones actually have more about buttons and control patterns. But the truth skills, the ability to just experience what is and know the difference between that and your ideas, your generalizations, your interpretations about what that means, that's a huge skill to be an effective human being to have any kind of decent communication. Because if you're going to have arguments about generalizations or interpretations, you never get into the healing possibilities of it. So that's why we have to write, go right to, OK, what did I experience when I heard those words? So now I'm ready for a volunteer. Do you want to? Oh, sorry. I have just experienced just the opposite, where the love of my life for the last three years will not tell a lie. Absolutely, if he looks at a woman and he's attracted to you, he's going to tell you about it. 
He's gonna tell you when he's driving over to so-and-so's house to spend the night with her. And it's really been quite the Button journey. pusher. Let yeah, me finish that sentence exactly. for you. Is it, it's a button pusher. You right? are the love of my life. Yeah. But I need variety. Mm -hmm. But I want you to be okay the, with that. The one. Yeah. Okay. Would you want to come up here and, and we'll talk about that? It's nice to have two different behaviors all in the same lecture hall here. So you are Sally. Sally. Hi, Sally. Yeah. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. So you gave, you gave us a very, you can hold that, you gave us a very good description of the behaviors, I think. Mm -hmm. And so what I would like to hear from you now is what did you feel when you heard him talking about the other women? I, I was devastated. Mm -hmm. And so I was devastated for the last seven months and then he said, he just called it quits. If you can't take it then. You know, mm -hmm. and now I'm going through. Wow! Wait, I just want to. Wasn't pause. that better than nothing? Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. yeah. And it's my sense of so abandonment some, and my, yeah. Yeah. my oh my God! I'm 59 Feel years it. old. I I don't want to be 60 years old and dating again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So really, what what has triggered you even more is the loss. So we started with with one. Thing, but I don't want to stay there. I'm not going to stay stuck on that button pusher because the real one is, he said, if you can't take it, I'm, I'm going to have to leave. And that triggered deep, deep pain. So without having to say anything about it, I can see you're feeling it, so let's just feel it together, okay? And people in the audience are probably with us too. <laughs> just feel it. Feel that. Now I know on, on the middle layer, there's a fear of being alone. You talked about that. So it's not, big, it's not a big giant leap here. It's a fear of being alone. Yeah, big time. Yeah, underneath that. I've been alone my whole life. I have mm, no children. Talk about that. I have no, no husband, no children, no parents, no pets. Mm -hmm. It's just me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And can you remember even farther back any time when you were alone, when it just was awful. Anybody got Kleenex? Uh, um, yeah, a lot. Just a, lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot. Let, let, your, let yourself drift backward. Just feel for a bit and see what comes to your imagery or your memory. You'll either see a picture or you'll have a memory of yourself when you were quite a bit younger. Uh, I have something about um, being raised in Texas in the South. I had a, a literally a black mammy, and I remember my mother would be off to the Garden Club or the whatever, and I just remember the I remember this literally the skirts and the apron of this 250 pound mm -hmm. woman who was my nanny. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mother had to go to bed for seven, I think, seven, six or seven months in order to have me so she wouldn't lose me. So I know I was imprinted with, with abandonment and mm -hmm. fear of failure or loss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you're remembering being at the skirts of that nanny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just stay there. Mm. How'd that feel? It felt like something to cling to. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing now is we're feeling with that little girl. About how old was that? Mm, probably five. That little five-year-old girl. We're just feeling Maybe with three. her somewhere in that in that range, little and loving the feeling of just something to cling to, but there's a certain energy to that. Oh, it, it's almost like at least I've got something or 
some energy there. Just feel with that. We don't have to explain it. Yeah. Yeah. You're feeling empathy. You're feeling love for her. You're just being with her right now. <sighs> and this is the work. This is all, you know, if there's more coming, go ahead and share it. But you don't need to do anything with it, but feel it. Well, no, my little m monkey mind goes to, oh, no wonder I want to hang on to him, mm -hmm. <laughs> even with the problems, because it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. So that little girl who just wants to cling <laughs> to something is alive in you. I just wanted a partner. Mm -hmm. I'm so